If you're interested in CSGO, please make sure to check out my second channel, Hazard Edit Gaming, for CSGO related content I upload there. Thank you. What's up guys, Hazard here, and it's been a while since my last video. And today I wanted to get on with the C++ basically remake uh, videos for game hacking in CSGO. And this time with the Triggerbot. And I wanted to point out comments below my last video made by Germans with a clear neurodevelopmental disorder that is autism, I suspect. So I'm not trying to make fun of it or anything in that way. I simply wanted to let you know that you can keep your opinion for yourself next time. I mean, I don't delete them, I read them, but I really don't care if the code works, whether it's 100% right or not. And you should keep your focus on something more important in your life than somebody else's code on YouTube, on a YouTube tutorial. So on the right hand side of the screen you can see the software itself running. Uh, I made it put out some information, so my own team number, the entity number, so basically what, who is in my crosshair, his number, his address and the team number of the enemy. Or yeah, whatever player is in. So here's the demonstration. So I got these guys here. So as you can see, I'm looking at this one, it's different. Looking at this one, looking at this one, it, it's different again. But the team is the same. So yeah, as you can see. Like I'm not and I'm not clicking. I'm just pointing on the player. And same is also for the teammates. But yeah, it doesn't shoot hopefully, yeah. So as you can see they also have the same information displayed. So yeah, I think I can close this. Now looking at it in Cheat Engine will show us uh pretty similar things. So here we have uh, the marked spot. It's showing the same as um, the entity number in the software itself shows. So that's where we're getting the player number in crosshair from. So here we can see it's 9, we can see it's 3. If we go to the other team it's also oops, it's shooting. Oh crap. So we can see that they're matching up against it. So close this. And once again, it looks pretty familiar because it doesn't matter which uh, language it is. But yeah, I was convinced that making a C++ after so many people asked for it uh, would be... F Anyways, so I have a few variables where I'm gonna store my information. I'm getting the client DLL base address. Then I'm getting my player base address, my team, and then I'm getting from my player base address also who's in my crosser because it's stored um, next to the base, next to everything my player has, so team and so on, um, close to that. And then I'm getting, so I, uh, since I'm getting the player number, I can find out. Uh, I can use the entity list to find out the address of this this player and then I'm getting his team number so I know whether it's an enemy or not because we are not shooting in teamies unless it's deathmatch or free for all and yeah so then I'm doing a comparison whether it's my team or not zero is when you aim in the air so you don't want to shoot when you aim in the air and then I'm writing to attack. Uh, I forgot to show it because on my other video I'm getting comments what attack exactly is. It's basically if you take the console and type plus plus attack and then you do minus attack. So here would be plus attack. Okay, it's um, yeah, there we go. And minus attack plus attack because if I do plus attack again it won't do anything. This is what plus attack is so this is basically on and off. 
And yeah, this whole thing is in a loop. I put this outside of the loop because I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, not for actual usage. Uh, so yeah, I thank you guys for watching. Keeping things short, you know, six minutes is enough, seven minutes is enough for this video. And yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out.